If you honestly go back to the source of the meaning of philharmonie, then it describes a place where we bring together energies and different personalities and different styles and different mindsets to create something together. Uh, obviously, it's about the sonic phenomenon, so it's presenting music, but in the understanding that the music is really the source of direct communication. So, a philharmonie is uh, un lieu de rencontre, and it obviously reflects in how the new beautiful architectural uh, site is being created in terms of that the audience are really embracing and surrounding the musical source. First of all, I think we really have to say that it is an incredible privilege that all of us here in, in Paris, and not only the orchestras and, and ensembles and choruses, and us, the Ensemble Intercontemporain, will have the privilege to work in this great space, but also it's, it's a great privilege for the entire city of Paris, and it's a great privilege for the country. It's a fantastic concept that uh, this uh, hall is something like a salle modulable, ou au moins semi modulable like it's it's a, it's a hall that gives us more chances chances to reflect that also music has changed and how music is presented and i'm not only talking about that instruments are being placed all over the space it really the programs have changed sometimes you might even want to play different pieces from different angles and i think it's important that this is being reflected in the new halls that are being built C'est le moment le plus fort de, de toute la pièce. Et on m'a posé la question, dis donc, ça joue toujours aussi fort concertini Et j'ai dit, ah non, justement, comme nous l'a dit M. Laronman, c'est une œuvre du contraste. Et là, tout d'un coup, on a un effet de répétition avec une petite boucle qui se crée le... On entend la guitare qui fait... Donc on a en général deux concerts dans l'année que l'on crée. Donc un concert plutôt scolaire et un concert famille qui se passe le samedi matin. Et à cette occasion-là, nous prenons des œuvres ou des formations instrumentales et nous en faisons justement des concerts, non pas d'explication, mais plutôt d'immersion, c'est-à-dire comment les instruments sont utilisés dans la musique moderne et les musiques du 21e siècle, par exemple. If we can enhance that experience of fascination for people, then it will be even even easier even to listen to a contemporary piece of music. Um, you can't understand a piece of art. We can know something about it, we can know a lot about it, but we can't understand it. I don't understand the Symphony of Bruckner, but I can be a scholar and read it and understand the style but you don't get a key to 
understand the piece of art. So if we just invite the people in and be just less anxious about, you can listen to any contemporary piece, but just using your own individual potential of creativity and apply that to what we perceive. That, that's what we need to do. And the Philharmonie is a perfect place for that.